wrestling fans, welcome to the year of champions. Today we will break down every champion from January 1st of 2023 till the end, December 31st, 2023, and we will go through who won the titles, who they lost it to, how long the title rings were. So, with that being said, as always, hit that like, share it with your wrestling friends and family, and if you want to, hit that subscribe as we continue to grow our wrestling community here at the Big Petty Gaming Headquarters. First off, we are going to start with NXT. NXT has a big four title picture. You got the heavyweight for the men's championship. You got the women's heavyweight championship, North American, and the tag. So, to start that off, we got the... New Day started the year off as champions. Of course, they did show up at the end of Deadline. Uh, they beat Pretty Deadly to become the Cripple Crown Tag Team Champion. Uh, they held those titles for exactly 56 days, which is about two months. So they are now champions on Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. Gallus defeated the New Day, Chase U, and Pretty Deadly in a fatal four way at Vengeance Day. They held the titles for 175 days, about five months as well. Next up, you got Tony D'Angelo and Channing Stacks Lorenzo. They won the tag titles by defeating Gallus at the Great American Bash this year. Uh, they held them for 86 days, so about three months. Next up, you did have Chase U. They finally got their title ring. Uh, they beat... And Tony D'Angelo and Chase Lorenzo to become the first tag team champion for them at Halloween Havoc. They held those for 21 days, about three weeks. And then your current tag team champions on NXT, Tony D'Angelo and Lorenzo. They got the tag team champions back on the November 14th edition of NXT, defeating the Chase U. And they are currently still champions for about 45 days at this moment. Next, the North American champion has had a lot of good holders throughout the years since it has been introduced. And we start off this one with good old Wes Lee. He outlasted Carmelo Hayes, Von Wagner, Oro Minchin, uh, Nathan Frazier in the North American ladder match at Halloween Havoc. He held that title for 268 days, which was about nine months. And then, of course, you had good old Dirty Dom. He up on NXT. He did end the reign of good old Wes here. And for about 73 days, which is two months and a half, he was your NXT North American champion. Trick Williams actually got his hands on the title. Uh, he beat Dominic for it, but it was only for a three-day uh, reign. And then, of course, Dirty Dom got it back thanks to Judgment Day. And he had it for about 66 days or two months, however you want to look at it. And he lost it to your current North American champion, Dragon Lee, who won the title at NXT Deadline. For about three weeks now. So Dragon Lee has competed and defended several times since then. So he's doing very well as being the champion. Next, he hopped directly into the NXT Women's Championship. So these were a lot of good competitors as well throughout the year. So of course we got to give them their credit as well. The first woman on the list won their title at NXT Deadline. Which was Roxanne Perez. She actually beat Mandy Rose the day after deadline. I do apologize about that. And she had that title for about three and a half months. And that was actually the end of Mandy Rose. She had left the company right after this. So for about 108 days, Roxanne Perez had her title. And then next, you had Indy Hartwell. She finally got her title shot. At good old stand and deliver. Drexel Loomis did help her uh, beat Roxanne Perez, Gigi Dolan, Tiffany Stratton, Lyra Valkyrie, and Zoe Starks in a ladder match. She held it for about 31 days before she was drafted to Monday Night Raw. Uh, of course, then the title was vacant until Tiffany showed up. She had won it in a tournament to become the NXT Championship. She had it for about 107 days, which gave us the grand total there of about three and a half months 
Then came along the man, Becky Lynch, challenged Tiffany Stratton uh, for the NXT Championship. She did win it. This was uh, back in September. For 42 days, she had the title for about a month and a half. And then your current champion is Lyria Valkyria. Uh, she did uh, do what a lot of people thought she couldn't. She beat Becky Lynch. She has been the champion for about two months now. Now we go into the men's NXT championship bracket. Of course, with that being said, Braun Breaker was your first NXT champion starting out the year. He fell short at standing delivered to beat uh, Dolph, uh, but he showed up the next following night on Raw after WrestleMania, and he reclaimed his title. He had that title for exactly 300 and 61 days, so about 12 months, we had the reign of Bond Breaker. Of course, along comes Carmelo Hayes. He uh, dethroned Bond Breaker at Stand and Deliver. Of course, uh, he had that title for 182 days, which was six months. Then Ilya Dragunov decided that he wanted the title shot. He dethroned Carmelo Hayes at no mercy. He is currently still your NXT champion for exactly 90 days or three months. So this is the NXT side of it. A lot of great names here. A lot of future call-ups. Going to be great on the main roster. Of course, if you think anyone here should have a different title shot later on, they, or if they should be called up, let us know. Now, we head into our next breakdown. So, we have the Women's Championship. You have the Undisputed Tag Team Champions and also the United States Championship. So, to start us off here, we got Austin Theory, who beat Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley in a triple threat match to reclaim the title at Survivor Series back in 2022. He was champion for 257 days in about 8 months and a half. Until Rey Mysterio uh, was, he was the M2 challenger due to an injury to Santos on SmackDown. Santos was not able to compete, so Rey did. He won the title. Uh, he had it for 84 days or about three months until Rey Mysterio had to go up against Logan Paul. Logan Paul, of course, at Crown Jewel, he backed up everything that he said he was going to do. He officially won the title. Uh, he did hit him with the controversial brass knuckles to the head to knock him out. But either way, for 56 days, Logan Paul has been your United States champion or for about two months. Now, the Undisputed Tag Team Champions, they have had a lot of holders throughout the years. Um... So, with that being said, let's jump right into it. Jimmy and Jay Uso, when they were part of the Bloodline, they dethroned Ray and Dominic Mysterio to capture the SmackDown tag titles. A couple months later, they challenged the uh, tag team of RK Bro and put them into a corner to where they had to compete to get the tag team titles unified. And with the help of Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns, that happened. And we've seen the undisputed tag team champions of Jimmy and Jay Uso for about 316 days or about 10 and a half months. And then, of course, that reign was brought to an end by Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. At WrestleMania 39, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens ended the epic reign of the Usos. Uh, it was historic as well. It will go down in history as probably one of the greatest tag team matches uh, to main event of WrestleMania. I do not see there being another match between two tag teams that will top it. Especially not for uh, WrestleMania itself. So for 153 days and about 5 months... We seen the Kevin, we seen Sammy and Kevin Owens. That is until the Judgment Day grew into a huge pack, and at Payback, Ben Balor and Damian Priest dethroned Sammy Zayn and Kevin Owens in a Steel City Street Fight, which was very good. Uh, we did see some color from uh, 
Kevin Owens, which we don't really get to see a lot. This was a very emotional match for him due to the Terry Funk situation. We did see Rhea Ripley get involved. We see JD McDonough get involved. We saw Dom get involved. Either way, the reign of Judgment Day had started. That was until the uh, tag team that no one ever seen happening. Jay Uso and Cody Rhodes. Uh, they joined forces, dethroned Finn Balor and Damian Priest uh, for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions for about nine days until the Judgment Day does what Judgment Day does. And they won the tag titles back, and they are currently still your tag team champions for about 74 days or about two and a half months. Next, we jump straight into the WWE Women's Champion. First off, on this list for this 2023, you had Bianca Belair. She uh, beat Becky Lynch to capture the title. This was the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania, of course. Then the draft happened, and they didn't really switch the titles back. But she held that title for 419 days, which was a year and two months. And that was until Oscar blinded her with the mist and ended the reign of Bianca Belair. Uh, she had the title for about 70 days after this. So it was a very good match as well. Then, of course, Bianca came back. Bianca did get the title back. Uh, she had SummerSlam. It was a triple threat match. Uh, Bianca, Oscar, and Charlotte Flair. And then, of course, Bianca did tweak her knee a little bit. And that's when we seen the cash-in of EO Sky. EO did cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase. Uh, she is still currently the SmackDown Women's Champion. She's had the title for about 146 days or about five months. Of course, it depends on how you truly want to deep dive and look into that. So next up, we have the Women's Tag Team Championship. Next up, you have the Women's Tag Team Championship. So at Crown Jewel of 2023, uh, we've seen Io Sky and Dakota Kai reclaim the Women's Tag Team Championship from Alexa Bliss and Asuka due to Nikki Cross with a surprise attack. Now, they did have the title for about 114 days or three months and a half. But on the road to WrestleMania, we had some surprise returns. And of course, that was a lot of the key success for the SmackDown and Raw Women's Division this year. A lot of people came back from injury or just came back in general. But we've seen the crazy tag team of Lita and Becky Lynch. They actually beat Io Sky and Dakota Kai for... The Tag Team Championships, they were champions for about 41 days until there was a mysterious attack to Lita backstage, uh, which put Becky Lynch in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the Tag Team Championships. But Trish Stratus decided she was going to step in and help her out against Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan. But with that being said... Trish kind of turned on Becky Lynch here and Liv Fall, which gave us the reign of Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez once again. Of course, they uh, had those titles for about 39 days. There was a shoulder injury to Liv Morgan. She wasn't able to find a tag team partner, so she had to relinquish the tag team titles. So they, of course, were vacant. Uh, for several uh, weeks until the tag team of Anna Baszler and Ronda Rousey formed together. They actually uh, beat the, uh, there was a fatal four-way between Ronda Rousey, Raquel Rodriguez and Sh uh, Shotzi, Bailey and Io Sky, and Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. And of course, that's when the... <laughs> Tag team champions that you see, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, did beat them. They had the tag titles for about 32 days until they had to go up against uh, Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez again at Money in the Bank of 2023. And you've seen the turn of good old Shayna Baszler on Ronda Rousey, which put the title back on Liv Morgan. 
and Raquel Rodriguez. Now, they held these titles for about 16 days. So, of course, the title rank here was very back and forth for the women's division. Um, and then Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville, they won the women's tag team titles first off uh, from Liv Morgan and Raquel. Uh, Sonya Deville actually did tell her tear her ACL and MCL so she has been out of action for quite some time. Rather than relinquishing the titles, Piper Niven stepped in to be the tag team partner here for Chelsea Green and so they had the titles for 154 days until the return of Katana Chase and Caden Carter, who they have officially beat Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. Uh, they have been your women's tag team champions for about 12 days or a week and five days. Next, you have the world heavyweight champion, which we all know is. Oh, I'll send this backwards. Yet. All right, so I got to fix that. Next, we have the women's world heavyweight championship. Now, this is another one of those that was kind of back and forth. So Charlotte Flair, of course, uh, returned from injury. And she went up against Ronda Rousey uh, and recaptured the SmackDown title back on December 30th of 2022. And she had that title for about 92 days until WrestleMania 39 when your Royal Rumble winner, Rhea Ripley, or as she is called now by... Most of the WWE community as mommy. She dethroned the queen. And has been champion for about 272 days. Of course then you have the men's world heavyweight champion. Um, this is Seth freaking Rollins. Um, he beat AJ Styles in a hard fault matchup. Mostly would say at Night of Champions to become the first ever title holder. He has been currently the fighting champion for 217 consecutive days. And to end it, you have the two longest title reigns at the current WWE moment. With that being said, you have the Intercontinental Champion and the Undisputed Universal Heavyweight Champion. First off, we do have Gunther. Gunther has joined the SmackDown brand. Uh, in his first match, he went up against Ricochet for the Intercontinental Champion. He has never been pinned. He has never lost on the main card since coming up from NXT. He has had the SmackDown record. He has also got the Raw record for this title now as well. 567 consecutive days or about one and a half years. Now, let's switch gears here and talk about your tribal chief, your undisputed universal heavyweight champion, the head of the table, Roman Reigns. This man has went through a lot to get to where he's at. Let's see. Let's look over his reign here as champion. So after his first return back for during uh, the pandemic era of wrestling, he booked himself alongside Paul Heyman, and he did beat uh, Braun Strowman and The Fiend Bray Wyatt in a triple threat match at Payback in 2020. And that is when he captured the SmackDown. And then at WrestleMania 38, 38, WrestleMania 38, Roman Reigns also defeated Brock Lesnar. And with that, he became uh, the undisputed Universal Heavyweight Champion for exactly 1,215 days, about three years and a half. So that is the breakdown of all your WWE champions from NXT, SmackDown, and Raw. I cannot wait to see what wrestling brings us in 2024. Of course, if you have any comments, suggestions of who you would like to see win or dethrone these champions, let us know in the comments below. Hit that like. Again, share with the family and friends. And as always, if you want to become part of the community as we grow the wrestling aspects, hit that subscribe. Until next time, we're over and out.